I thought uh, I thought we had, we got off to a poor start. Um, you know, we we did not have the defensive mindset that we needed to have at the beginning of the game. <clears throat> Their guards uh, bullied us into the paint and scored repeatedly. Um, <clears throat> did a lot of substituting and. But they just got going, and it was just hard to stop their entire team. So, you know, starting off games, I don't care if we're back to back. I don't care if it's altitude or any of that stuff. We just we have to have the right mindset, the right uh, competitive attitude, and uh, didn't have it at the beginning of the game, and it carried through. Um, but the young guys in the fourth quarter did a nice job up until the last couple of minutes, where they just ran out of gas. But all in all, a very disappointing night. Got a couple guys banged up. Um, don't know the severity, but hope it's uh, hope it's not serious. You mentioned the young team that I guess to start there, and then Jarrett's obviously had some heavy most extensive work. Uh, it just it seemed like he had some good moments, but, um, some other maybe shaky moments. Just what, what was your kind of assessment of him? What did you like from him? What did you saw? What did you I liked, I liked how all of them competed, really for the most part. Again, except the last two or three minutes. You know, they just let go of the rope because I, you know, I'm gonna say it's probably fatigue. Um, and Utah had some fresh guys in there, but that's just you know the way that goes. Um, future is very bright. I like all these guys, and. Uh, Jairus has some some special abilities, and uh, he showed a lot of those tonight. His his vision, his playmaking, um, been shooting the ball well in the G League, um, and you know he was he was uh, he was out for a couple of days with an illness and joined us late on the trip. So all that considered, I thought he did a good job. Well, these other guys got to defend better. You know, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to name names, but it was ugly, okay? It was ugly. And, you know, um, it just, 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 it just wasn't, it wasn't what we're building and trying to do. So it was disappointing. I understand, been around this league 40 years, I understand about off nights and all that, but when it clearly is more about the offense than the defense, and the defense is the thing that you're really focusing on, then that's not a good thing. So, um, you know, we're going to have to turn the page. We're going to – we've got two days until we play again. We're going to have to try to get healthy. We're going to have to try to get um, our, our edge back. Um, this is a tough – you know, it's a tough two games. No, no doubt about that. You know, you're at Denver, at Utah, two teams that are playing very well. And – um, in altitude, so, you know, um, but just wanted to see more of, you know, what we saw the first eight or nine, seven or eight, nine minutes of that fourth quarter throughout the entire game. With the, I mean, you mentioned the, their depth, their ability to sort of move fresh guys. I mean, just how much is, is that a big reason too, right? Or at this point, the fact that they've got two, you know, really good units to work with a bunch of those scores. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're doing it. In a similar way that we're doing it, and uh, you know, so uh, give Will a lot of credit for uh, how how they've rearranged things. You know, they're taking a guy, <clears throat> Chris Dunn, who's been out of the league. You know, who's who had you know some injury problems over the years, but has fought his way back. And you know, the guys that are the fighters are getting rewarded. You know, and that's. <clears throat> that's that's what we have to be about as well. well Joseph Stern, obviously you got a you know, ton of minutes tonight because everything. What did you what did you like about your performance? What did you not like? I mean, just what's kind of your overall just sort of personal assessment? Um, I feel like I I played okay. Did a couple things well. I feel like didn't shoot the ball the greatest, but just did my best to get my teammates involved, make the right decisions. Um, on offense and defensively, I feel like I was pretty pretty solid in the right spot. Um. Always rebound better, um, defend better, but it's on to the next one. 
What's just the challenge? I mean, it seemed like you were more comfortable when you got in with the guys that you've been playing with, with Ben and, you know, with Oscar and those guys. It seemed like you were trying to, it took a while to kind of find your footing with the vets. What was that like for you to kind of get used to where you're supposed to be and how to play around those guys? Um, I mean, I just touched the ball less. So when I'm with that, with the first group, it's just more just playing a role. And then when I'm with that last group, I feel like it's just kind of the ball's in my hand more, so I have more opportunity to make plays. What's, so I guess, what, what's that take? I mean, obviously a big part is just spacing and trying to figure out, okay, this guy's going there, I need to go there. But what all, what all goes into just having an idea of just where on the floor you're supposed to, to, to be when you don't have the ball in your hand? Um, really just space, and then always ready to move, whether it's a blur, uh, a chest screen, um, just cutting to the basket, sand ball screens, really just wherever wherever that is, just a random movement, just try to get myself involved. I think there was one play where I think Buddy drove, and I think you sort of stayed where you were at. You had an open look from where you were at, but I think there was some bodies in front of that, and I think he threw a pass that ended up in the first row, and he seemed like to be motioning to you. Was that, was that kind of a lesson learned, I guess, when you where to drive, or where, where to space when a guy's driving? Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Just, just um, and like the more I play with my teammates, the more I'll be able to pick up on mm. where they want me and where they <coughs> deliver the ball at, too. So every, everything will come with time. When you're playing with the vets a little more, um, is there a point where it becomes more instinctual, or do you find yourself maybe thinking about plays a little bit more than in your normal role? Um, no, nah, I mean I'm gonna just I'm gonna just hoop regardless. So I mean it's not it's not in terms of thinking or overthinking or anything like that. It's just more opportunity with the vets, I would say, because obviously they're more ball dominant. And they make decisions and they make the right reads. So when the ball's in their hands, just be in the floor spacer, just being able to knock down open shots, but, but also just play my game. What uh, you mentioned having the ball in your hand, it seemed like that was what got you going when you had that one pass to Miles when you hit him, him low. I guess when did that really kind of help you start to get a flow, I guess, when you were able to make an easy read and, and you know, get him a layup? Um, yeah, for sure. Just anytime I get my teammates involved, it'll always get me going. I mean, that's one of my favorite things to do is just share the ball, move the ball, and watch my teammates eat. So whenever I can do that, it can definitely get me going for sure. Got four steals tonight. I think, uh, you know, obviously, I think we talked before about gambling and, and the idea of when to gamble, when not to gamble. Uh, did you feel like you had a, a pretty good, you know, pretty good reads on that tonight? Is that something you feel like you're getting better at as far as knowing, you know, when to attack the ball and when to, you know, how to stay in the stands? Yeah, it was a good night at Blackjack. <laughs> good, gam good gambles tonight. But um, all jokes aside, just, just being able to read that um, and then just know who we're playing against as well. So, just making the right reads, being in the right spots. But I would say most of them just came from being in the right spot, honestly. What's that, you mentioned the shooting, you go two for five. It hit, hit the first couple. It, it, Rick has just said, you know, that G League, you've been shooting it better and better, and the numbers obviously show that. I mean, just how much more confident do you feel just over the last couple of months with how you're shooting the ball from outside? Yeah, I mean, I've just been getting more and more confident and just the more time I've been spending in the gym as well, um, especially um, on the road, off days, just really whenever I can, just being able to get in the gym, just get some shots up. Just find that touch, but I mean, I'm definitely confident in my jump shot and my work I put in. What's just the just last thing for me? I guess what um, the, the time you have had in the G League, the, the back and forth, I mean, just how how valuable is that piece in just to make sure that you are still getting a lot of minutes, a lot of run in between? Um, it, it's been great. It's been great because that's exactly what it is. Just just minutes and running and hooping. So just being able to hoop and just get those reps and um, just being able to read the game, make decisions, have the ball in my hands down there. So, I mean, it's, it's always a good time when I'm, when I'm down there with the guys. And last one I forgot to ask, you obviously had the flu at the beginning. Or the, or, I know it must have been in the week. I wasn't sure, not sure what you had exactly. But how were you feeling, basically? What, how long did it take you just to feel back to normal? Um, I mean, I'm still a little under the weather, but I'm definitely feeling, definitely feeling a lot better than I was before. Defensive fire was where you guys wanted to be. Just what was your kind of read on, you know, the start and how it kind of went sideways on you? They took a good start, and we was able to uh, we were down like five the first quarter. And uh, after that, you know, marking is tough coverage. We play, they play really good basketball. They move a lot. And, you know, they, they played you marking a lot. Uh, Colin, and, uh, Colin was able to get loose a little bit, you know, and uh, just gotta just gotta figure out a way to storm that. What uh, I mean, Morgan's tough cover to, to start with when you don't have Aaron, when you don't have Bruce. Just how much does that make it harder to find an answer, I guess, for a guy that's got that kind of size and skill? I mean, like, I don't know if size, if you put everybody, you can put on him, you know, and I don't right. know how much Aaron and Bruce would have done differently, but you know, he's a tough cover in the league, and we all know that. He's an all-star player. He's one of those guys, one of ones that who can, like, score it well, you know, and uh, sometimes when he's going, you just tip your hat to them, and uh, we just never, like, 
get the game going in our favor how we want it to go. But uh, let's get watch him and adjust. How much was fatigue a factor tonight, you know, coming off a uh, game at Denver? We didn't care fatigue. We we're basketball players, man. That's what we do. We want to play every day. Just didn't get to execute. Obviously, the young guys got a bunch of run out there. Uh, seemed like Jarris did some interesting things. Just what do you think about what you saw from him, I guess, in this time? I'm going to showcase what I got. And, uh, and uh, you see, Jarris shows a lot of flashes. He's, he's going to be really good in this league. And, uh, you know, and uh, sometimes you get opportunities for that. And uh, sometimes you, you get forgotten where the storm and Tough road trip, you get forgotten where the storm. Try to get one attack on Thursday and uh, calm things down. And uh, it's another back to back, too. So it's a fun thing about this league. You, you always get another night to prove yourself. What's, it seems like he's still trying to get his footing. I mean, I think there was one point where you drove and you were kind of wait, expecting him to be, to kind of shift a little bit uh, to get to a spot where you threw it. I mean, just how much is he kind of figuring out just kind of how to read and react when you guys don't, you know, you, you do a lot of that and you don't necessarily run a time. We did a lot of practice time with Jarris too, like, you know, but, uh, you know, and that comes to that. And uh, we didn't, we, don't, we all don't have a continuity, but it's not an excuse, you know. Uh, sometimes we get caught watching the ball, thinking the guy's going to do something, but, uh Comes with growth. I did it a lot of times as a rookie. Mm -hmm. He hasn't played a lot, yeah. so it's not his fault. He's trying yeah. to still learn the game. He's 19, 18 years old, so mm -hmm. it comes with being out there, and he's never out there as much. So like now, when he gets out to play, he knows, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, next time when he watch film, he he'll be better.